How's it going, everyone? Tim here, Tier Day Adventures. Hope everyone's all well there. As always, thanks for tuning in. Much, much appreciated. So today, what are we going to be working on? We, thanks to my friend Jake, we are going to be working on a brazen high-low chassis. And I did get this in purple carbon fiber. Um, Jake hooked me up when I got the LC70 body from him. He also had these available. And I was like, you know what? Let me get them. Let's get a build going. We're going to be building a Capra axle-based C3 rig with four-wheel steer for the kiddo. He's been um, getting more into the class three and stuff like that. Um, and he's really been, he's been using dig this whole time. He's really wanted to be at the point where he's starting to use four wheel steer. Um, so that's what we're going to do. So, um, luckily I had enough pieces laying around to put together a whole nother front axle. So we're just missing a couple little mounts there and then one more servo to be, um, delivered, but we can at least get the assembly process going. So like I mentioned, this is the Hilo chassis from Brazen Scale RC. Now this is a very aggressive chassis. Um, it is a forward drivetrain design in mind. Where your weight needs to be, you want it down low and you want it forward, help with that breakover and other obstacles like that. And also this chassis definitely favors axle mounted servos. I have seen people work and do some modifications and make a chassis mounted servo work in here. We're not doing that. That's why we're going see through with capper axles. We have some high-low rails, we got a 3D printed skid, we have four-wheel steer capper axles, we have some custom high clearance links. Using a lot of everything that came off of his, we have some modified Traxxas 2660 uh, big bore shocks, uh, drive shafts, we have some 67 and 70 millimeter spacers. I can't remember which ones this required, so we'll get to that as we go along. Um, definitely, like I've always mentioned, chassis specific components and stuff like that. Um, this is definitely one I definitely recommend you get a set of links that are made specifically for the high-low chassis um, in the Works RC and Hardcore RC. I know both of them have uh, link kits available for the high-low chassis and just something because your axle is going to be right here. Your front links are going to be very, very short. Here is a front upper link, very short. With the design and everything there, I definitely recommend getting links made specifically for the high-low chassis with your axle configurations and stuff like that. In the meantime, let's get started. I got the lower links already mounted to the skid. We're gonna go ahead and get the rails attached to everything and then start getting axles and shocks hooked up and then we'll start working on the rest of the drivetrain. Well, that didn't take long, but here is the basic layout. We have links and chassis and shocks attached axles. So we have the basic layout here. Uh, so next thing I'm gonna start working on the drivetrain and here on the 3D printed skid, uh, mine has an S610 pattern on both uh, side so I can change how I mount the transmission rather be this way or this way and shock position for right now just based to get me uh, started I'm going to finish uh, I'm going to start working on kiddos transmission here and make sure I can get everything to work the way I think it's going to work and I think it's going to work I'm not quite sure yet um, what we're using here is a, a hot racing um, SCX LCG uh, transmission. Um, I've seen them used before and I've always wanted to kind of try one out and they were on sale the other day so I picked up a couple of them. To, I was like I can probably find builds to put them in and this one I think is going to work out perfectly uh, fine um, for the kiddos truck. So let's get some drivetrain in there and keep going. So we got his drivetrain in and actually was not as bad as I thought. Everything actually fit. Uh, so there we are. We have that hot racing transmission. He is still brushed. He hasn't, uh, I haven't been quite ready to let him take the full transition to brushless. Now he drives some brushless things, but for the most part, um, he does really well with a good brush setup. So um, there we are. Chassis assembled and everything. We do have four wheel steer uh, capper axles that still waiting on a few things. So we'll get those finished up here shortly. We got the Got front bumper on here for him and a rear bumper. And all in all, I mean, this chassis, everything there looks great. I mean, this whole section here, um, everything looks good in shock position. Actually, I think we're going to have this, you know, pretty well on. I uh, might move the rear back just a little bit, but enough to get it out and uh, see how everything works uh, to get started. And so while I'm waiting on the last few pieces and a few more electronics for him, we're going to go ahead and work on a new body for him. And I want to do something a little different for the body, and I've seen it a few times. So we're going to take this capper cage and fix it to the chassis. So first things first, I have some of the panels and everything off here. 
uh, I'm going to give it some very aggressive cutting. I am basically going to start cutting out all the lower parts of the cage here, um, all the way across, and this lower bar. And then we're going to start putting it to it and seeing how everything fits. <laughs> There's not much Capra cage left. But right on here, there we are. We have this, the basic layout. So I'm going to use this back portion here where the rear fuel cell is. When I put the grill on there, I do am able to line up pretty good with one hole on the rail. So what I'm going to do to get started and at least mounting it, I'm going to put a little spacer in there and a bolt through everything. So then the rear can even possibly be a hinge point as well. So let's see how it turns out. Oh, that's, that's done. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Uh, so I just mounted right back here. You said that last spot where the fuel uh, cell was. Used a couple spacers on each end. Then you're here, does tilt up. I went ahead and removed the front grill just to get it to hang down a little bit lower. I have a custom uh, 3D printed spacer there that I use some M4 uh, nuts through. And I will use some Proline screw caps. And blam, just like that. Um, it's done, we got the rails, we got the side panels there back on um, and the roof. Um, even put a little winch spot there in the back for him. So the only thing left that I have to do is make some sliders. So we'll finish that and we'll get the kiddos class three all done. The brazen high-low chopper is done. And the whole build honestly really came together pretty good. You got the rest of his components to get four wheel steering, everything going. Um, we did take it out for a little bit, um, but I didn't get a whole lot of footage. I was just letting the Kiddo, go ahead and get the new rig going, trying to get him used to four-wheel steer and when and when not to use it. So I'm going to try to get out one day after work and just put together a pretty decent driving video. Overall, he really enjoyed it a lot. Um, he had a blast driving it and really kind of getting used to four-wheel steer and stuff like that. Because you know, there are certain situations, like, you don't always necessarily want to use it. You know, it changes how the truck moves and how it can rotate, where it puts load, where it takes the load from, and stuff like that. So it's going to take a little bit to work with him on that, but... Honestly, his first time out really using it on a regular basis, um, I think it's not going to take that long. I think he's going to get the handle on it pretty quick. But overall, try to get a little sneak peek in here. Got everything um, in there. So I'm using a brazen um, electronics mount here, bolted to the back of that transmission. Winch mount uh, went right back here, used a G-Speed winch mount. Um, got him a winch mount right on there. Got the line and everything ran through it. So it's an internal spool servo, so I don't have to worry about it getting like coming off anything like that. So I'm running it right here through the middle, using it here through the 3D printed body post that we're using on here. Everything else is working good on here. And now one thing, um, so I'm using that Hot Racing um, SCX LCG transmission. That transmission is geared very low, especially for running portals on it. So currently I have swapped out the front overdrive gears to the trio gears. I believe it was their highest option. It's like 60% overdrive in the front. I'm not running 60% overdrive. I've also put some wild overdrive gears in the rear. So I'm trying to bring up that overall axle speed up 30% and still able to have 30% overdrive here in the front. Um, but I think I need to mess around with a little pinion and maybe some motor there because it does need just a little more wheel speed. But that's just something that we'll just tackle on down the road the more we drive this to get everything going. But for the most part, I mean, the low speed control and everything, obviously, is pretty insane. It is geared low, so you can just sit there and watch it work. In the meantime, and we got everything here. We got capper front axle, capper rear axle. Took it to work and knocked out some quick little aluminum sliders just to make sure everything's nice, tight, and you know everything's nice and tucked up in there. Now, as far as trimming, I said I've seen some of these, you know, the capper cages on the LCG chassis where they are chopped. I didn't do an aggressive chop um, on it yet. Keyword is yet. I'm thinking about go ahead and just taking it the rest of the way here at the angles just to kind of open it up a little bit more but honestly even at full compression like the bottom of the links are just at the bottom of the door so it's still nothing's hanging down too much to hinder anything but we'll drive a little bit more see if maybe we do need to trim that open it up so i hope you enjoyed the video uh, if you did hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll get everything uh linked down in the description below any comments questions, anything like that, as always, put it down to my best to get everything answered. Uh, I said, we'll get a full running video here uh, following the next day or so. I'm going to have to take it out after work to, just so I can take it out and do some good running. Like we went today, we tried to take a little bit of video, but I was really like, we're not worrying about the video. Let's, let's, let's get you through this. Let's get you coached on driving a new truck. So that's the plan there. So uh, until next time, everyone have a great one and crawl on.